Hi, welcome to another video by CopyerTalk.com. Today we're going to look at backing up your image runner. Now this isn't just a Canon only feature. You can back up your settings and documents on pretty much any manufacturer's device out there. They are, it's pretty standard anymore. When some of them first came out you couldn't, but as they have become separated from copy machines and printers to total document solutions, it's pretty much become standard option for all manufacturers to implement something like this. Uh, first, we're going to log into our machine. I know ours is a 10.0.0.5 because I have the configuration sheet in front of me. And this is going to bring up our our copier on our network and we're going to launch a remote user interface and you're going to notice this is an IPRC one that doesn't really matter same same for all of them uh, the interface is going to be different between Konica and Ulta, Toshiba Canon, that's just part of the industry. Everybody wants their own little niche and everybody wants their own way of doing things. So, Canon is going to be different from Konica Minolta or Toshiba in that respect, but there, there will be an export option. For Canon, what you're going to want to do is go to additional functions. And our additional functions are just going to be import and export. And as you see, there's additional functions, your printer setting, and your paper information. If you have paper defined, you're going to want to back up your paper settings so that if your hard drive is formatted or the machine is updated from uh, a version 1 firmware to a version 2 firmware, you're going to keep all of your settings and you can get them back. Just, I mean, go back to import and export under additional functions. Say I want to do the additional functions. I want to export. Heat all these little warnings out here. Of course, you can't update your time settings or date and time cannot be imported, exported. I mean, those are just common sense things that you can't do. I mean, you can't export something today and expect it to work after the world ends in 2013. It, it just doesn't work that way. So. On the other side of my screen, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to start the export. And it's going to think about that for just a second. And I'm going to pause the video. Okay, it's finally gotten through its little time lapse memory thing. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to save it. Uh, my documents. Uh, right now it's pointing at my service manuals folder. Doesn't really matter. It's done. At some point in time, if you need all that information back, import, export, additional functions, import. Browse to the file path that you saved your, it at earlier. I'm not going to go through all of that because I got another function. That's a, that's how you would do that. Under custom settings, we go down to backup. This is where you would back up your oh your mailboxes your user boxes, if you store documents on your image runner or your image press, that's where it's going to be. First, we're going to want to go in here to our backup destinations. Right now, I have this stored at, well, that's the IP address of my computer and the share that I have on my PC right there. 
Uh, my username for that folder is Mike. Uh, I really don't care if y'all know that or not. Password is, of course, got the little dots thing going on, and, as always. And you'll have to hit OK. If you want it encrypted, you'll have to give it the password and that whole nonsense. I, it's for us to play with, so I'm not getting that far into the details of it. If you want it to back up every day or on select days, if you are that picky that you want every document, every night, backed up, uh, share on your network so that you don't lose any of your documents, that somehow the copier crashes, the hard drive dies, a uh, ser service guy walks in and says, I need to update your copier from V1 to V2, you will still have all of your documents. Otherwise, uh, probably not be any guarantee. Back up just the changes. If you want to back up just the changes, if you make changes uh, every day, but you have a backup from yesterday, but you want a backup every night of just things that change every night. But I will caution you that if you back up once and then you have 300 incremental daily backups, you're going to have to go through 300 incremental restores. So back up completely at least once a week and then do incremental backups every night or just do a complete backup every night and go in and erase your original backups. Now we're going to go back into backup and we're going to do an execute. Execute backup now. Are you sure? What you, yeah, I just pushed the button. I think I want to do that. And it's going to show me this backup started. And if I go look at the operation panel of the copy machine, it actually still says that I can make a copy, <laughs> which is kind of unique because when you back up the, the other, your department ID and, and user settings, there, there's a screen that flashes up that inhibits you from using it. It's kind of ironic on Canon's part that they kept you from doing that in one part of it, but not the other. But we don't want to go into the theory of engineering and why they write software the way they do. We would rather sit here and drink a beer and back up our coffee machine. Now this is going to take a minute. I'll be right back. And here we are back in our little screen that after it refreshes, after it backs up, I had to pause the video because, well, it just takes way too long for me to actually sit here and expect you to watch it. I mean, me rambling is bad enough, but for me to make you sit through that would be just unbearable. Anyway, if we look at our backup and restore log, we can see that today, on 7-3 of 2011, and our time is off on our copy machine, but that's okay. I'm not that interested in that right now. We did a full backup, and the result was okay. You can see where I was initially setting this up before I needed to back this up and take it to a customer's office. And if you wanted to restore your documents, you would just simply reverse the process. And that's how you back up and restore the data on a Canon image runner, image press, image class, image whatever copy machine. Thanks for watching. Again, visit copiercock.com for more hints, tips, tricks, help, pretty much any information industry related. Thanks. Bye bye.